Well, hey, ladies and gents, guys and gals, welcome back to part number four here on Ballydoran Farms with Meme Console. And uh, yeah, I've been a couple of changes. Um, I've sort of done a bit of uh, editing on the map to me. Um, yeah, well, um, first of all, if I jump down to the uh, BGA, you can see I've replaced the bunkers, guys, because I didn't like the way that one just permitted in the middle. But I, I'm like a triangle ship, but I don't know, for some reason, yeah, they're not filling properly. And I don't think it's the bunkers is the problem. I think that it's something to do with this area down here and triggers and stuff. Uh, maybe I've missed a trigger that I can't see or, or so, I don't know. Um, so I think basically what I'm going to do is whenever we get these emptied and get enough money, uh, I'm just going to delete the whole BGA and... Uh, build a new one over here somewhere, but we'll have to buy this field first, and then we can use this area for uh, some sort of placeables, factories or something, I don't know. Um, yeah, that sounds good. Uh, again, with the triggers being funny and messed up, course play sort of acts up in this area, so I um, have that, <laughs> just a cheap tractor bought, set it there to you know block course play coming down, so it goes into traffic and I can just empty up myself and um, that's all that there is for this area and uh, let's take a run up to 9 and 10 which we bought in the last episode as you can see now guys it's all one big field um, and then again if I walk over this way whoa, uh, over here you can see that there also is a missing hedges from this field um, with this map guys, unfortunately when you plow fields together, the hedges don't disappear. So I've had to go in and remove them out of the map. And um, I, did, I think I said before we're going to make this into one big field. But let's get started anyway. I'm going to uh, get the combine going on field, 11, field 13 here. And then we'll take you up and show you the other changes. I want to get these two fields together, guys, because that sort of small part of the field there makes, makes combining pretty awkward. So if I take that off, if I go to their level, I think I have a harvester course already. Yes. And uh, where do we start? Oh, it's not field 11, that's why. Field 13. There we are. Just uh, you hit that from the uh, first waypoint, and I'll be happy. There we go. So once this gets finished, I'm going to go ahead and play these together. Now, if I go up to uh, where are we here? As you can see, guys, I've replaced the uh, bunker that was here with a shed. Again, putting another bunker up here, something to do with triggers, just makes it feel funny. Um, and I went ahead and took the sheds out of there and just placed a new bunker down in here. And you can see these ones are working fine out of that area. Uh, this is just from cutting the cow and the sheep pasture fields. Um, so yeah, I'm starting to work towards getting some grasses together to get some sheep, uh, maybe some cows. Uh, need to get a corn header pretty soon as well, so we can start working on some CCM for to get some pigs and stuff going as well. Um, I got fed up with that wee trailer we bought, so I bought that. Um, in hindsight, I probably should have got the hookless version, because um, I could have got a dump box for the end of it. Uh, well, yeah. Hindsight's a great thing. We got the uh, 40 series Black Sheep Modern, just because we got it in the last series and never really had a chance to use it. Um, I've been doing some bailing and stuff with it. It seems to work pretty good. And that's slipping already. Good. What are you slipping on? That's that. That would be a tree there, wouldn't it? Why are you not harvesting? Bet you've run into another bit of crop down here somewhere. Yeah, you have. Like somewhere on the edge of the fields. So where did you actually stop? Oh, there. You didn't get very far. There's another reason I'm going to put these fields together, guys, because there is other bits of crops in here that um, are from previous. 
Uh, I would say that they're put around the edges of the field and the field boundaries haven't been done properly, so maybe we should just go ahead and do a bit ourselves around the outside. Get the first head on ourselves anyway. Right, see, thought it's not going. Because it says I've got barley in it. Ah! So it took some barley out, right? Okay. Let's just dump that. Oh, yeah, we, we comments. Let me see. We need to, uh, I need to put the comments up. There's been a few comments from the last couple of videos, so let me just get those up and going. <coughs> Should have had this thought out beforehand. Uh, okay, so here we go. Uh, Dwayne Griffiths was saying he likes the layout of this map. Uh, keep the great videos coming. Love watching them. Thank you very much. The layout of the map is quite unique. Um, as far as it, it was based on the real area of the terrain and stuff, and um, from what I understand from the readme portion of this uh, map, that it was yeah some of the gradients were taken out because farmstead vehicles wouldn't be able to handle the gradients. Um, but yeah, this this area is a real area. So um, I suppose it's more of a home type map for me as well, since it's like you know 12 miles down the road from where. I'm where I live, I suppose. I think that bit the corner. I don't like leaving bits. Okay, you're not going to harvest that because why? Okay, let's just uh another bit of bard in there somewhere, isn't there? There we go. Turn it on and off again seems to work. <laughs> Nightmare Farms, good god. Uh, what is this witchery? I'm a council actually working a field. You need a stiff drink and a long rest. Uh, yeah, I, I do the odd bit of field work as you can see. I'm gonna have to. Yeah, I just don't. There's certain times when I watch videos, I don't. Like I particularly like watching people, you know, sit and go through it, but you know, run the combine all the time. And to me, you can get pretty boring just watching me drive up and down. Um, which is one of the reasons why I sort of get course played to do as much of the field work and stuff, so you don't have to be bored watching me do it. I think that's the main reason. Talk about course play getting to work. I'll come back to that in a sec, actually, because I need to get this field planted. <laughs> Let's go ahead. We'll set up a course for this. Field 11. Headlands. We'll do four of them. Three meters. Yes. Wow. Uh, what do we want to put in here? Oats? Yeah, I'll put some oats in. I'm just doing oats because, you know, I am selected oats for some reason, so I must have wanted oats in this field, but I don't know why. I can't remember. There's a reason. So, let's go ahead and you drive that from the first point there. And I'm going to leave you to it and get back to running on the outside of this field. I've had that cedar sitting there now for a good while. I keep I keep forgetting about it. Uh, Nolan's left a few uh, comments. Uh, we'll get through those. Uh, blaming the John Deere for the grass not being grown, really? Yeah, of course. Well, it's not fair blaming Jeffrey all the time. It's more fun blaming Jeffrey, I suppose. At least that way you get an answer. Uh, he called me a coward as well because I turned the traffic off. Total cop out. Uh, yeah. Having traffic on in this map, and even on the README file for the map as well, the map author has basically said that uh, the traffic is suicidal. So, you know, be careful with it. So, just to uh, make sure that there's no sort of major accidents with uh, with traffic. I thought maybe it'd be better if we uh, didn't have it.
Is that big bit of different crop there is gonna kill us up? No, done it this time. No, it didn't. There we go, we're back on it now. Let's scroll down and see some more of the comments. Gnome's also, what was he saying, a great no collisions on the hedges, so this is the one and only time we'll see you use the roads. I always use roads. I, I, when I'm playing on my own, I tend to use the roads. When I'm playing and recording a video, you know, sometimes the roads can take madly long to get around places. And again, you're just going to watch me drive around roads. So, yeah. Uh, apparently, I'm cheap, cheap. I'm cheap. You're cheap. You're cheap, cheap, cheap. Well, you can't buy the expensive equipment on the start of a map, can you? That's uh, it's just not going to work. Uh, just think of all those different uh, different equipment you can buy. Yeah, we can sort of uh, build up to it. Right. So this is really annoying. Alright, there's the last of that. So hopefully I'll be able to set that off on course by by the nearest waypoint. And it should automatically go into the second headland. Yay! There we go. Uh Stevens, thanks for your comments. Uh let's see. Nolan, absolutely love your accidental map tours. Uh, you're a firm believer that I get lost then because you are embarrassed to turn it into a tour of the map. <laughs> no, yeah, no. Yeah, no, yes, no. Maybe. I don't know. And again, the last comment there from Nolan is, where is the roundabout that you violated at? I know it's in this area, don't deny it. Uh, that comes from a Facebook post, guys. So it does. Um, uh, if you're on the Buster's Facebook page, you'll uh, you'll see that one. Let's go ahead, we need to get a tractor and trailer now. We uh pigs. Keep Nolan happy, we'll keep him happy, we'll we'll take that one. First of all though, let's get the uh the fent out on the field more on grass, I think. Cause this is harbour filling the BGA at the moment. Gates get in the road, so bang. And this one should be on a course already. Uh, this is going to be field number 16. Field 16, moo. First waypoint, you go ahead, drive. Um. At the minute, guys, I haven't really used course play on low combines because they're just... Oh, I'm going the wrong way again. They're just such uh, small fields, there's, there's hardly a point to it, to be honest. Right, so we need to go up. This is loud. Turning circle's not fantastic on this. You would think for, you know, small wheels and stuff it would be. Let me just zoom out a bit so you don't actually listen to this. Yeah, guys, it's a really, really decent map so far. I mean, apart from the few bits and pieces that I've found that I don't like, the fact that you can't mow the hedges down or, you know, plow the hedges down, that's sort of... It's a 17 thing, isn't it? And this is a convert from 17, so yeah. Um, maybe the map author doesn't know how to do it, or maybe he just hasn't thought about it. Uh, the BGA thing is a bit of an annoyance, but I'm sure I'll get over that. But apart from that, so far, it has turned out to be a really, really decent remap. I like the fact that, you know, you're, you're travelling around. Wow, that's really gone through that field quite quickly. Um, I like the fact that I'm travelling around the different areas, you know, and going roads or 
There seems to be back roads here, there and everywhere that you can go through, which is pretty cool. Another, the only, well, I will say one thing about this tractor, guys. I know Black Sheep Mon do a fantastic job on all the tractors. The suspension on this is very unforgiving. Uh, it seems very solid compared to some of the other tractors I use. You know, the wheels don't move up and down too much with the terrain. So, 69% canola. Let's just go ahead and see if we can get this to empty. This side the pipe wall, the pipe wall on this side. So yeah, again guys, uh, thanks for your comments, your likes and everything else. Don't forget to uh, leave a suggestion if you want to see anything in this map. To say we could maybe get into some of the factory mods in this map as well. Uh, see how that goes. Um, taking a run around the map the other day, I was up and down with the horses and stuff far as well. It seems pretty unique. Uh, maybe try and get into some horses in this map. Um, with it not being... Uh, Seasons horses are you know pretty pretty good for making money. Oh here oats yeah we're building some oats. Let's just run down and show you where the horses are. The horses are down near the BGA so maybe I should just skip through yeah. And they're this way. Uh, and they're over there I think. Yeah. Oh have I been in here yet? Yeah, bio, sorry, yeah. See what I mean? All these big back roads leading up to fields and stuff. Uh, oh. Feed troughs, what's this for? Oh, you can put more sheep down here? Aha, uh -huh, pretty cool. Okay, I didn't know that. Uh, so 23 is like another sheep area, is it? Ah. Okay. Maybe that's uh, something I wasn't expecting. Well, I'm saying that I was thinking about the next field was buy it, you know, oh, sunflowers. Maybe buy it one of the islands because they're all grass out there, which sort of suits what we're playing at the minute. Yeah, but this is the horse area, guys. Um, obviously it's got the usual stuff. There's we like training ring here and stuff and um runs back this way they've put in like a, a weed shoe jumping area but this is actually a sell point as well for different things i think you sell your uh no not there uh, we're going over here no oh uh, well, yeah well this is a, a caravan park you sell eggs or something here but in here oh in here it is yeah it's your bill sell point so we found that which is pretty sweet. Um, some of the gates are open when you can hear. Some of them you have to hit yourself. But as you can tell, guys, it's really out of the way. It's um, you know you have to drive down a wee roads to get to it and stuff, and they're not big mad roads. Oh, it's a caravan park. So I mean, some of these you know you can't physically join together, which is pretty good. And it just takes us back over to our main fields and main farm again. But yeah, we've only got 34 grand. And as I say, the sort of the next thing we want to do, guys, basically is rebuild the BGA. Um, what I will do is, as soon as I can buy the field, uh, let's see. As soon as I can buy the field up beside here, 33. I think maybe this top part will make into the BGA, the bottom part can leave for grass or or uh, for corn or something like that there. Uh, and then when we do that, um, we'll turn this into a, I don't know, a placeable area of some sort. I think that's the easiest way of doing it. 33 though, I'm going to have to save up and get uh, 121,000 for the field. I will just add the money in and, and place the BGA guys uh, because, you know, we're, I'm not going to sit and build one again. Uh, what were we doing? What were we doing? Yes. You. 
going to be needed out in the other form anyway, so let's just drive out. We do have to start replacing tractors as well, guys. I mean, well, it's okay to have all these wee small starting tractors, uh, the likes of the 40 series and that. Um, I do want to bring the class up with it in, because you know I like class. You see what I mean about the... Uh, the suspensions are a bit more forgiving than some of the other modded tractors. Maybe that's just something for the size of it, I don't know. You're only 32%, so you're no good to me. Um, <coughs> yeah. Just go ahead and sort of fertilize this field before we start putting, putting them together, I think. Might as well do this ourselves. Um, if you just fancy to try it in this map, guys, um, it is a nice, nice map. Um, I just typed in Ballydorn Farms into Google and uh, spelt, looked for the latest version of the map. Um, and that's the one I went ahead and downloaded. I can't remember where I got it from now. Definitely worth a try, guys. Definitely worth a try. And then what we'll do is when we're playing this as well, I'll, I'll um, basically just play that as a straight edge to that field. Um, I don't particularly like the way it does that bit around the gate, but, but we're not going to need that gate now anyway because uh, there's a gate at the top which we'll probably use more. So it's not as if we're going to have that one opening into the field as well. Uh have to look into getting a slurry spreader or some stage because we you know we're gonna need it to empty the uh the digested out of the BGA so we can use that for free uh fertilizer at some stages as well. And again, as soon as we can I wanna sort of try and get the dairy up and going. Uh with more than ten cows in it this time. because uh, we only had ten cows in the last map, didn't we? I think we'll try and max it out. Have a proper wee dairy gone. Well, but you know, as well as that, um, I'm, I don't know why, but I'm, if there's another sheep area out there, is, it, is there more animal areas out there I haven't seen yet? Because I didn't realize that was a sheep area down there, a sheep pasture. I suppose I could always look in the map, huh? Alright, so that's that with the first level of fertilizer on it. Ready for uh going. Alright, you You're over here. No, over here. And there's an replaceable area there as well, actually I never thought about. Let's just go ahead and get the bits of course play missed. Um actually no, we'll leave them because uh Combine's gonna miss them anyway, so I might as well just leave them out. That's actually pr uh, it's not a lot quicker than I thought it was going to. And this PC doesn't seem to use a lot of seed either. But three meters is a bit small, I would think. Oh yeah, the six M that we had, I sort of swapped it out for the modded version here with the bigger tires and stuff on it, so. Just a different starting vehicle than the one that, that was there. But there was no way I was going to use that Fiat. That Fiat was always going. Um, I do not like that tractor. Just can't bring myself to like it. Don't know why. I'd rather use an old Ford or something than you know, that Fiat. Or Fiat, if you want to say it that way. Oh. No, this way. And let's go get our trailer ready and go and get another load of dump of canola in it. Yeah, what am I doing? The other thing with the black sheep one. You can open and close doors on this. 
I thought that was pretty uh, nifty. Again, guys, the only thing I'm not liking about this so far is the turn radius, and the lights do look like mirrors when you look at them up close. See what we have in store. Uh, barley, some canola already, some soybeans already. Must be from the last one. We never feel the soybeans planted over on 18 anyway, so. my mower's getting on. I think what I'll do guys is I'll basically I'll just go ahead and uh, you're nearly done. Sweet. Um, I've jumped into the BGA again. I think I'll just go ahead and blanket this and uh, I'll sell it off guys and then that's the end of the BGA work until we build a new one. Um, when we come back up here I'll stick with you because you're done. <coughs> I think we'll just go ahead and just put this straight into the uh, the animal uh, pit here, and we'll sort of try and get that stop driver. Bang! We'll try and get that filled in, and that's, that's what we'll work on for the the rest of the episode, I think. Gates are pretty unforgiving as well when they hit you, so I'll just throw you in there for the time being. Which means I need to go in to get another tractor. Uh, uh I suppose. So when we get that field uh, in together, gonna get a little lime and stuff on it. I know it's, uh, it probably doesn't need it, but the parts we play in will need it, you know, between the fields. So we'll just do it all and have it all ready at the same time. If you like your small farms, guys, with small equipment and whatnot, this this is definitely a good map for you. Because um, you're never going to fit the big equipment in around some of these corners in these fields. And, um, you know, it's it's definitely never going to work well within the fields here. But if you like your small, medium-sized equipment, I believe you'll, uh, you'll love a map like this. I think the biggest tractor we have there is the Massey at the moment. Or is it the Fent? I'm not sure why. I think it might be the Fent, actually. We get course play to do this, of course, but then you're going to be stopping course play to take it up, and yeah, it's just as quick to do it myself now. Because we haven't got our course recorded into that we uh, animal pits, and uh, I think the course play may have a problem with it the way I've placed, actually. And so it might be just a better idea to do it ourselves. Uh, not that long filling up anyway. But yeah, once we get this done, we should have enough. Uh, Grass leech, haha, or hay leech is it? Grass leech, hay leech. I can't remember what you call it, but we should have enough to um, to do this for a, a good while with um, you know starting amount of cows anyway. I would say, guys, this area in real life is more livestock anyway. More, I think there's a lot of dairy farms in around this area, and um, a lot of sheep as well because it can be quite hilly around here. In real life. Ah, and what I'm thinking about doing, guys, and I need to ask this question, and I'll, I think I'll ask Nolan um, if he doesn't see this before uh, before he sees the email I'm about to ask him. And um, what I've noticed is a lot of dairy farmers 
don't necessarily use straw for uh, bedding. I've seen people that use sand, I've seen people that use wood shavings. And I'm wondering, with the animal areas, is that part of the map or is it part of the game that it has to be a straw for bedding? For example, could I change the straw bed in there to wood chips? It pretends like wood shavings or something, and that will give us an excuse to have to cut down and do some forestry if we can. Um, it's just a mad idea I'm thinking about. Um, but again, I will have to see if it's possible before I before I actually go ahead and, and get into that. Um, I think it would just be a different change of uh, than just using straw. Again, then we need to get ourselves some sort of uh, well, I suppose chainsaw would be good to start, but we need some sort of chipper and um, yeah, that would give us the excuse to do that wee bit of forestry rather than just doing it just to sell it. Might as well have a use for it if we can. Not to say that we can't sell logs as well to make some money, but um, <laughs> you know, if we need to use them to for for bed or whatever, that would be pretty cool. I think it's like um, who's it? I seen you know, tenth tenth generation dairy man. I see YouTube channel. If you don't watch it, guys, it's it's pretty decent to watch. Pretty informative actually. Uh, but they use wood shavings for their bedding for their uh, their dairy. Um. Okay, Nolan was also saying there on the Getting Started episode as well. Uh, broken map again? The truth is getting harder and harder to deny you break maps. It is becoming obvious. Well, Nolan, if if I break maps, um, then obviously the map maker hasn't done a good enough job for it. Because if I can break them, anybody can break them. That's why I believe that some, you know, quite honestly, guys. I'd love to be a tester for somebody's map. Next big map coming out. If you're watching, guys, I'll do a test. Because, I mean, I picked up on the wee bits of that that nobody else seemed to have picked up on with the floating. Whenever that was a uh, bunker, the, you know, the edges of it were floating. Nobody else seemed to pick up on that. Picked up on areas of uh, the other map as well. The, uh, the Valley of the Old Farm where we had floating trees and stuff. I never got around to showing you that, actually. But, um, yeah, we picked up on that, too. Plus as well, I love, you know, it's, it's nice to get a, a preview of a map that nobody else is playing. It, you know, for watching point of view as well, it also makes it a bit more interesting that you're watching something that has not been out there by about 10 million people so far. Let's see if we can get up into that corner. No. Oh, no. Oh, it's okay, I can get that with a shovel. Lifted. Again, this is just the in-game shovel I'm using because this is uh, one of the starting vehicles. Uh, we just see wiping it half of this, but it's, it's, it's anything. Tidy as we go. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, yeah, telehunter. Cool. Get the corner of that filled in. Yeah, yeah, cool. There you go. You might as well fill in the wee bits and pieces that are missing. It's over this side. Do it as we go along. It means that we don't have to do it all at the end. No. Pumped it all out again. Okay, 
not gonna let me lift that bit for some reason. I find that that can be done for a bleed through the wall. Yeah, I probably haven't got this sort of uh, best angle either. You know, it's just the uh, the ground level at the sides is, as you can tell, it's it's changed because I put the placeables down and yeah, you know, flattened the area too, just around it to make it sort of easier. There we go. Yeah, so there you go, guys. This is what I'm going to be working on between now and the next episode. It's just key to lean in that field off. Hey, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. But as and for now, um, I will say, see you later.